That is right, we are back with Monopoly Hut in NHL 22. Let's get it. Yo, what's going on Leaf Nation? It's Leaf, we're back again and welcome back to the channel. Today, this is episode one of Monopoly HUD. We are gonna run through it this year, I hope anyways. I'm excited to do this. The board is looking amazing, so let's show you what the board is looking like this year. So looking here, uh, just a bunch of packs on the board. If we're looking at the first uh, strip here, we got uh, just the regular packs. We got Bankrupt, we got Buy Any Player, we got Roll Again, and then we got the Upgrade Set. So with the Upgrade Set, we can do the one where we trade an 80 plus overalls for an 82 plus um the gold upgrades silver upgrades and maybe even x factor upgrades depending if we get any x factors we want to um upgrade looking at the second half of the strip left side of the board we got a regular pack we got special packs we got any player again we got miss a turn and we got discard best player um which would be our best overall player looking at the top of the board we have regular packs again we got a pack line so we open up a pack use the players in the pack and put them on a line special packs again buy any player we got community chest which we still have the envelope from two years ago when you guys gave me suggestions for the community chest we have pink slips so pink slips we haven't really landed on in previous years but how this works is we head into a div rivals game like we would play any regular game if we win against our opponent we get to look at his team and we get to choose our favorite player on his team and buy them off of the auction market uh, and then looking at the right side of the board regular packs we got chance we got buy any player buy any special card bankrupt and second chance and what second chance is is if we land on discard best player we have a chance to bring that player back so we don't discard him we just take him off of the team for the time being until we can land on second chance and get that player there so pretty self-explanatory without further ado let's make our hut team and uh have our first roll of the episode all right hockey ultimate team we are here team name monopoly hut let's get let's get it going here Abbreviation, as always, Mutt, and open starter pack. I don't think anyone would take this team name, so we should be good. We're checking. I don't know what we're checking. All right, here is our starter pack. Let's open it up, see who we do get. We're going to get our Leaf, uh, you know, uniforms and logo, arena, all that good stuff. I'm excited to see who our X Factor is going to be. I'm excited to see what gold players we're going to get from here uh, because our starter team is going to be a little rough. and most likely we're going to be heading into our first game with some silvers and maybe some bronzes on our team so uh, i don't know how that's going to go because uh you know this is a totally different game so let's see let's see what we get here just a bunch of silvers i'm excited to see who our x factor player is going to be we're going to wait to see um so we get david camp we get justin hall and we get jake muzzin not too bad so let's see who our x factor is Ooh, kyle connor that isn't bad that actually isn't too bad i've seen worse so we will take that, uh, get started, skip the tutorial. We know all this good stuff here. Um, nothing to be really worried about. We get our free pack, obviously, which we're just going to skip. There's probably going to be nothing in it. 600 coins. We will definitely take that. And um, yeah, so what we're going to do, we have uh, our returning user packs to open. We're going to do the tip set packs as well. So I will do that quickly. And, uh, and then I'll catch up with you guys. All right, so we collected a bunch of coins and a bunch of packs from doing those tip sets. We now have nine unopened packs. We're gonna get straight into them here. Uh, we're probably gonna skip all the loyalty rewards. We have a, a 81 overall choice pack, a player's pack, and a mini pack. So we'll start with the mini pack, see if there's something in there. And then from the loyalties, we will skip. And then after all of this, we get to roll the dice and uh, potentially open up more packs, which is just great. So nothing out of that, no big deal. We had, we had a feeling there was gonna be nothing there. These loyalty reward packs, I got nothing out of them on my main account. So we're just gonna skip this. Chris Tierney, not too bad, that'll help out the team. Uh, we gotta remember, anything at this point is good. Power up collectible, that can help us with that Kyle Connor, which is huge. Another gold player, 750 coins, that's good to see. I really hope we don't roll bankrupt the first roll because we are sitting on a decent amount of coins, 3.5K to be exact. So let's hope that we don't roll on bankrupt. We got another Leafs jersey, no other gold player there, okay. But we did get Chris Tierney, he'll uh, get onto the team. A power up collectible is huge for those X factors when we pull any of them. Uh, you know, these guys will make the team realistically another 500 coins those 75s and 76s will make the team Ideally because our team is pretty garbage to be honest. So uh, I guess we'll take the gold players coming our way Tyler Mott anything else uh, Johnston and that's about it last loyalty reward pack or no second last loyalty reward pack uh, Okay 
Another 750 coins. We'll take the coin bonuses, man. Like I said, I really hope we don't roll bankrupt because, man, we'd be losing out on 4.8k right now. Uh, we get another mini pack here. So I was right about the, that last loyalty pack being the last one. Anything in this one? No. Okay, so we got an 81 overall choice pack. 81, I, I think I said that. Let's see what 81 we could get. Hopefully something good. James Reimer. Uh, Ty Smith. Kevin Lankinen. And, ooh, Team of the Week, Sammy Vadden. I think we're going to go with that just because it's a Team of the Week. It's a pretty sweet-looking card, too, if we get bombarded, uh, activated. So, you know what? We'll take a Sammy Vadden. Maybe we should have took a goaltender. Um, yeah, just because our goaltender is probably not the greatest right now. But we'll take a Sammy Vadden. And now we got a Players Pack. Ten items, all players, at least five gold players, and 180-plus overall. So, let's see what we can get in here. I've seen some crazy pulls out of these packs, so... Um, all right, there's our goaltender. Um, I'm not gonna, I, I'm so bad at pronouncing his name. So we pull Alex, the newest Detroit Red Wing. We'll take that. Uh, Maxime Mammon, okay. Uh, Tucker Pullman, uh, anything else? Uh, uh, no, nothing else. But hey, we will definitely take an Alex and uh, let's throw these guys on the team before we roll the dice, see what we're looking at, and uh, and then we'll look up from there. All right, so this is what the team is looking like after those packs. It, it's not good, dog. Like, uh, Tierney, Mott, Kyle Connor, DeHarnay. De um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Defense is looking a little decent. Hull, Muzzin, uh, Vadden, and Pullman, uh, Thomas, and yep, that guy's name. And then we got Alex in that. So... Um, hopefully the board blesses us some more packs because as of now, this is just not it, Chief. All right, first roll of the uh, episode of the series. Um, and we're using our phone for a roll the dice and we get a four. So a four looking at the board is open up one pack. So we're opening up one uh, premium pack. All right, let's hope this premium pack is holding the most juiciest of juiciest pulls here for us because we need something to help the team out here. So here we go something here brandon smith uh that's actually ah, our defense we don't need defense man that's a little tough actually we do not need defense give me a forward because our forward core is not looking promising at all um all right another defenseman and a center who's a silver so this does not help us out one bit that is so tough oh we do get this ea play uh starter pack i i totally forgot about that so let's open this up here real quick maybe there's something in here another chance to give us something good are you a forward all right that's not bad that we get a center there so that's going to remove some of the silver players on our team uh michael chaput uh mason mitchell can we get something big here that'd be greatly appreciated here come on something no defenseman defenseman any good forwards no all right well our luck and packs are just not a thing so far to start off the year that's a little tough so i know we did get a better center uh let's throw him in uh mcmaster don't mind if i do okay yeah zach Re yeah okay i mean a plus two upgrade there on the uh, left side here I guess that's our lineup going into game one. It's going to be interesting to say the least, man. Now, you guys let me know what I can do with upgrading these guys. Because as of now, I could upgrade Kyle Connor up to an 82. Now, you guys let me know because it is using my coins. Should I use um, X-Factor upgrades only when I land on the spot on the board? Should I make another spot for it on the board? Or should I do it whenever I want to? You guys let me know in the comment section below. For now, we're going to keep him out of 74. Okay, so without further delay, it's time to head into our first Rivals game. And as you can see here, we need to play five placement games. So I'm going to play two this episode and then the final three off camera most likely. Uh, this way we can get some packs for the week. So uh, we've seen what the team's looking like. It's not great. This is my first online game of the year. Haven't played one on my main account either. So this should be interesting, especially with a team like this. I, I don't have high hopes. So if we lose, don't be surprised. Also, since this is a trial, I'm not sure if we're going to find too many people to play as we find an opponent. I'll keep my mouth shut. Who does he have? Braden Point, Johnny Goudreau, William Nylander. We are going to get shit on. Hey, it doesn't matter. We're, we're playing games. we got to upgrade our team, obviously. It's going to be interesting to see how this goes. Wish me luck, guys. There you go. All right, here we go. Off to the races. Little toe drag. Get through one. Good pokes. Get that across. Oh, no. We couldn't get the shot off there. Good play, though. Our defense is good, which is a good thing, obviously. There you go. Decent passing. Kyle Connor. They are... They... 
Dejarnay! I couldn't say his name for some reason. one nothing. He gets the first goal for Monopoly Huck. Kyle Connor getting an assist. Peter Quenville getting the secondary. one nothing. Great start for the boys. Let's keep it up. Here you go. Oh, this guy's got wheels. Across to Connor. Oh my. Almost made it 2 nothing there. Kyle Connor's still on the ice, by the way. Same with Sammy Vadanen, who's about to score a goal. Good shot. Let's go, Hall. There you go. Get that across. Chris Tierney from Justin Hall. What a f***ing rush from Justin Hall. That's my defenseman. Shut down on Justin Hall. Gets an assist. Chris Tierney gets us on the board. 2-0 lead before the first period ends. We love it. The icing on the cake right there for the first period. No, end the period off like this, please. And that's the end of one. We're up two to nothing. Things you love to see. Looking at the stats, um, he is dominating us on time and attack almost a minute more. We have four shots to a zero, which is great. And we're up to nothing. I quickly do want to see this guy's team because he clearly has a way better team. And I don't know if he quit there or if the servers just shit on us. Oh, we did get the win. He quit. So we get a rage quit in our first game. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, we love to see that. We were dominating. I felt like we played better than him besides the time on attack. Now we can actually see his team. Uh, so Jake Muzzin, Marcus Foligno, uh, Morgan Riley at an 83, Tom Wilson, uh, Nylander's at an 82. What's Johnny's hockey rating? An 82. Um, Potvin. Oh my god. He had an 86 HUD icon Potvin. That card art is beautiful. So he had a good team to say the least, guys. And uh, we were we were able to win it. We made him rage quit. Or maybe his trial even ended. Who knows, man. But we will take that. 2-0 win. It's time to get back to the board. Before we get to the board, we completed a bunch of objectives here. So we get a bunch of coins, which is nice. We finished something in the training camp. That's 500 coins. So we are currently up to 6.5k. My goodness. Let's not go bankrupt. All right, so last time around we rolled a four, which was one premium pack. So hopefully we can get a better roll, maybe get some more packs here. So roll the dice and we get a five. So a five again is once again, open up one premium pack. So let's head to the store. We all know that these premium packs ain't the greatest and we're definitely not gonna get a pull in one of them. But at this point, we're trying to build our team. Anything, any gold player at this point would help our team out tremendously. So let's see what we get in this pack here. Uh, Nolan Stevens, that can help our offense for sure. Uh, we don't need defensemen, which is the one thing I was noticing. Quinton Byfield, that's a great pull. I'm um, actually excited to use him. We will definitely need him. Um, good looking card there, Quinton Byfield. Welcome. Uh, one more gold player would be nice here, maybe. We get another power up collectible, a goaltender in James Reimer, which we don't need a goaltender, but we get a power up collectible, which is huge. And a Tri-City Americans jersey. So, not a bad pack. Let's go throw those guys onto the team. So, McMaster. Uh, I think he did something last game. I'm not too sure. But he's going to get substituted for Quinton Byfield. Welcome to the team, Quinton. And he will be playing second line minutes. Even though DeHarnay scored the first goal of the series. He's now demoted to the third line. And that left wing that we pulled. I don't think we're going to be able to use him. Unless he's a right-handed player. Uh, which absolutely sucks. Uh, technically he is better here. We do have uh, Maxman who's better as well. Uh, speed wise the same. Um, Tyler Nolan Stevens is actually looking better here. Uh, we'll throw him into the lineup. We'd even pull him but we'll throw him in there. And that is our fourth line done. Our right or left side here still a bunch of silvers which isn't good. And the defenseman that we pulled um, don't think he'll make the team. I was wrong. Yeah, he's not making the team. So that's it. That's all the changes that we made was uh, Quinton Byfield on the second line and Stevens because he had better skating. Well, since our first game went so well, it's time to head into the second game. Debut Quinton Byfield. Hopefully he can do something for us here and hopefully we can collect another win here. And we found our second game against Rizzi. He has Ovi, Ajo, and Gensel. Okay, this should be another interesting one. Uh, I don't have a good feeling about it. I'll be honest. Get that the tyranny. Oh, good pa- Oh, did he not trip? I thought he tripped me. Good save. Good stick lift. Yeah, this guy knows what he's doing, dude. Good save. That rebound was not ideal. Came right back out to Ajo. We give up our first goal. And I mean, looking at the cards he has, dude, this guy's got a really good f***ing team. This is going to be a rough one. Okay. All right, this is just not going the way I want it. You can really tell the difference between my shitty cards to his really good cards. 
There you go, Kyle Connor. Away to the races. Oh, good save by Flurry. Good chance. We finally got something going there. So, I don't know. Hopefully, the signs are looking up here. Halsey playing his heart out on defense. Hull and Muzzin together, man. Real pairing in real life works in the game, I guess. Up up to Muzzin. Ah, oh, we tried. This is not good. Muzzin's back, though. Good poke from Hall. Another great poke from Justin Hall. Things you'll love to see. Take a shot on Muzzin. Period's ending. Not a great first period, to say the least, man. I, I did not feel good at all. And looking at the stats, you can just tell how bad we're playing. Dominating us time on attack. Shot-wise, it's close. I'm not I'm not feeling good with this team, dude. Um, I mean, look at this. Ovi, uh, John Carlson at an 85. Ajo at an 84. Keith at an 80, okay? Nugent Hopkins, Spurgeon. Um, yeah, Jack Hughes. And then he has... Uh, Fleury and Ed, who's an 86, so uh, it's going to be tough to beat Marc-Andre Fleury with this team. We're going to have to get dirty and uh, get these gritty goals here, so let's do it. Where's my team? Like, Quinville, why are you coming towards Byfield instead of, like, going to the net? This is horrible defense for me, and that is horrible. Dude, I just want to know up there, he's coming towards me. I'm trying to pass a puck for a cross crease of luck. He's got 83 Gensel, too. I don't know, man. This this is so rough with this team, dude. We need better players than we need them ASAP, dude. Let's go. Get that across. Oh, got caught in some feet there, and he couldn't get a clean look at that. There you go. Nice little move. Got to get creative with it. Oh, what a save, dude. It's going to be impossible to be Flurry. I'm telling you right now. Quick. Beautiful. 2 on one he just he was just holding a stick out that was horribly played by me across oh it's gonna be impossible to be flurry this game like i'm not even joking good poke i guess i don't know not a not a good period again like we created more things offensively there we're not gonna be mark andre flurry this game i'm telling you right now nine shots to my six time on attack we brought it back that period so we definitely had a better period there but dude i'm telling you this mark andre flurry is standing on his head let's go tierney Let's go, Tierney. Chris Tierney. Oh, man. He just bumped me off of that puck. We got a minute left here. Like, can we just break the shutout at least? A few moments later. Good pass. Bang. All right. We broke. Yo, 28.3 seconds. All right. All right. We're going to take a timeout. It's possible. I think it's possible we can get something done with this first line. We're going to try. 28.3 seconds. We're going to call a timeout here. Calling our timeout. Did not mean to go into instant replay. Let's go. No way. Good poke. Tierney. No, Tierney. Why did we lose that puck on? Oh, my God. All right. Hey. It was a good fight with this team. The fact that we only lost 2-1. I mean, sure. I want to see what Tierney lost that puck on there, man. That was something. Is it even going to let me look at instant replays? Or is this game already that broken? Yeah, the game's already that broken. You hate to see it, dude. I, I don't know what we lost it on. It is what it is. Um, It was a good battle, man. Like, look at the time on attack. We played better, man. We just didn't shoot enough. And, like, it's so hard with this team because you get bumped off the puck so easily. It is what it is. One and one, I'll take that. Um, We could have we could have came back in that game too, man. Just Marc-Andre Fleury was an absolute tank. So in terms of coins and all that, we're stuck at 69.96. Nice. So that is going to be it for the episode. We really have nothing else to do. Um, those other three games, I'm probably going to play off camera. Quickly, um, look in here. If we can, I'm interested. Are you guys down to do an X-Factor set? Or should I make that a spot on the board? We can only do this once a month. We can choose any gold player. It'd be 20 gold players for an X-Factor player. Um, so... You guys let me know. I don't even think I have enough. Yeah, so I don't even have enough gold players, but let me guys know when I have enough gold players, should I be able to do an X Factor player exchange or should I make a spot on the board where we can do it? Let me know because we're only able to do these once a month. But in terms of the episode, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Like I said, we are on the road to 4K subscribers. And guys, hopefully you guys are excited as me to have Monopoly Hut back in your sub boxes. I'm excited to um, produce a lot of Monopoly Hut this year for the first real time ever. So um, yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you guys very, very soon.
Peace.